This one's called From the Guide to the New Apostasy. When I was a child, I said that meat was grown in fields, though I knew that wasn't true. Back then, all had enough to eat, and twelve baskets were brought to him who blessed. Bread only, not a martyred fish in sight. If you look between the clouds, you can see them, as if that too were sea, and you could travel anywhere and breathe. more. Uh, this one I wrote uh, for the moon, but um, I noticed that every poet and writer has always wrote about the moon at night that glows and illuminates the sky. I thought no one's ever written a poem about you know, the moon of day that no, just people ignore. So I, I wrote this poem called The Lesser Light, and it starts with a quote from Genesis 1.16. Then God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. No one writes of the moon of day, the one that's overshadowed by the brilliance of the sun, the one that sits in blue, that's pale and white as cloud, its craters scarcely noticed and its phases gone unchecked. At noon, Lovers holding hands do so in a golden light. Beams that warm the faces locked in smiles from solar shine. While ignored at 4 p.m., our satellite must reckon that its time is slowly coming. When its giant yellow rival will sink below horizon's line. And it is then, when couples feel a chill, that Luna's lamp aglow alights their footsteps and their kiss, casts a suitor's shadow neath a window washed in song, that daughters eye its pockmarks from their father's telescopes, that poets pen their verses for this orb of wolf and tide, that nature finds its way through dark in the shroud of a sleeping sun. That's a great audience. I like that reading for you. Uh, this last poem is a poem about rebirth or reincarnation, or rebirth or uh, remanifestation. It's called Sin. Don't drop streaking tears from your blurring, tissued eyes at the death you think has consumed me. Don't serenade my tombstone with your weeping violins or play a somber requiem for my God-forsaken soul. Laugh out loud in lieu, not in metaphor, but for real. I'm just beyond your touch, but not your still and silent sight. See me in the spectrum as the glass breaks down the colors. Sweating, pitching leather baseballs in a lot in Tennessee arguing with the umpire, throwing spitters past the plate, and on days unfeeling calmer, serving ice cream cones to children on a Sunday at Stanley Park. And just beyond the tree line in the north, when I'm a little more daring, burning a trail on a snowmobile, scraping bones from frozen ground, on a clear black night over Chile, I'm mapping out the stars, listening for radio waves, sending signals of my own, that I was never lost, but never found, that I'm more than just a body and the sum of all its parts, that my poems can really breathe out on their own, for all our benefit, yours, mine, and the cross-eyed baby girl in Lisbon. Dial proper frequencies for pickup. Hear me sing a lullaby softly in Portuguese. Thank you. Thank you.